It is thumb by thumb. Tinubu government have frustrated Ali Kodangote. The richest man in Africa is now regretting why he started the refinery. If he had known. If he had known, he would have kept his money. If he had known, he would have saved himself from this heart's pain. If he had known. The government of Tinubu is frustrating Dangote. He now regrets. He wish he can sell the refinery. Will you buy? Dangote wish it. Maybe he will even sell it with the way they are frustrating him. He might likely sell it. It is again one man. It is thumb by thumb. It will reach everybody. Don't be in a hurry. Oh, Agnes, one man. Okay, you touch on your owner. ya abu is coming from door to door. By the time Tinibu is done with you people, many of you will not remember where to your house. By the time Tinibu is done with you, you will forget your son name. Many of you will not remember your name, including your son name, or even where to your village. The richest man in Africa has been affected as well. Nigeria has happened. Nigeria has happened to the richest man in Africa, Ali Kodangote. Alahaji, it is done by turn. It is Alahaji turn. Ali Kodangote is also lamenting. Don't be surprised if you see Ali Kodangote in that protest. Dangote is the, you see the way the whole thing is going. Dangote will be in front of the protest. I have never, since I have been hearing of Dangote, the richest man in Africa, I have never seen Dangote before. They carry microphone. Channels TV and Arise put microphone in his mouth, including TVC. All the channels, AIT, put microphone in his mouth to speak. The man have a lot of burden in his heart. Ali Kodangote is now looking frustrated and even malnutritioned. I did not know that this is Dangote. I was thinking that it was his grandfather. When I saw this video, I said, no, this is Dangote's grandfather. He said, it's Aliko. I said, this is Aliko, the fresh Aliko. The one that look, have fresh skin. What happened to his head? Why is he having gray hair? Why can a young boy like this, start a young man like this, be developing gray hair like somebody that have reached 98 years? They say he suffer. Tinibu frustration. Tinibu have frustrated Dangote refinery. Hey! They even said that Tinibu discredited government of Tinibu. They said that it is inferior product that is bringing out. Aliko, Alaji, it is your turn. This was the same way Ibeto Cement was crying. They chanced Ibeto for you, Alaji. They say it is only you that will be giving us cement in Nigeria. Monopoly. You monopolized everywhere. Dangote cement, dangote salt, dangote sugar, dangote macaroni, dangote indomie, dangote red oil, dangote granite oil, dangote pad, dangote tissue. Everything dangote. Only you. They push Ibeto away. To pave way for you, sir. Nigeria is happening to you now. Under one year of Tinubu, Dangote have lose weight. Under one year of Tinubu, Dangote trousers no longer either do in our shape his trousers every day because of Tinubu. I see when I saw this video, the way Dangote was pushing out his mind, the this the government of Tinubu is not recognizing him again. He even said though. That they did not dash him land in Lagos. He paid money. He was mentioning the millions of dollars he paid to Fashala. When Bruce blow, the national file will open. More secrets will be revealed. Did you people say this is Dangote? Dangote lamenting. In all the administration, I have never seen this man coming out to grant interview. Every day, he's restless now. Dangote can no longer sleep. This is what he paid. Where is he paid to submit? Can he be better cement to know? They chase him away. They chase him. Any country that does not encourage competition, monopolization of goods and services, you know, they go anywhere. Then go take them. You carry monopoly, everything, only him. They are what? Everything they want to talk about. Everything they are giving to Dango. That is why they call him the richest man. Now, his refinery. I don't know what they say happened to the refinery. I don't know what I'm hearing about inferior oil. Oil is not good. They have not even finish the, the refinery. They have not finished commissioning it. Everything that they are telling us is all lies. Let us take it batch by batch. We take the way Dangote is lamenting. And we take the order of his brother. Wahala Plentio, if Dangote can be lamenting like this, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. This is one chance. Sorry, sir. Alaji. Now wait in Ibe to suffer. Oh, yeah. The real picture. Okay, that's one. 
Number two, this country has been having petrol queues since when majority of you here were not even born, since 1972. Okay, so 72 to date is what? 52 years. And we are still having the same issue. So just for the fact that, yes, we are ready and about to start uh, this, you know, everybody is now uh, up and about. Yes, but we know that what is giving us uh, the, you know, a lot of joy is that we know that the majority of the population there with us. And so we are not discouraged. We will continue what we are doing. But, you know, new, doing new business, like, you know, which we announced this still, actually our own board has decided that, no, we shouldn't do this still because if we do it, will be called all sorts of names, monopoly. And then also, imports will be encouraged. So we don't want to go into that. Let other Nigerians also go and do it, because we are not the only Nigerians here. There are maybe some Nigerians with even more cash than us. They should bring their money from Dubai, from other parts of the world, to come and invest in our own fatherland. We sympathize with you, Al Haji. Even though we know you for monopoly, you monopolize everywhere. But that doesn't mean that we will be happy the way the government of Nigeria is treating you. We know they are not treating you well. They will come out in your front and open their brown teeth and laugh with you. At the back, now work at them, they tell you. Now work at an article, work at Azu. They no, they, they no value you. If they do value you, they will not even come out with this Ahmed and start discrediting the refinery that Nigeria doesn't have. Is it not your refinery that is the only refinery now that is existing in Nigeria? So if they really love your business, I believe that they should even be encouraging the business and even advertising your business more. Telling people why they should uh, uh, patronize your business. Bring marketers to you so that everywhere goes to you. But because the government in a, in a one way traffic, they know no front, they know no back. Then they laugh you, Dangote. They are laughing at you. It's an unfortunate situation. That is why they call this man to come and say that uh, Dangote, the thing where you people hear about Dangote, don't be so idiot. Let us hear from the uh, Ahmed, the person Ahmed. Ahmed, don't go. As there are a lot of concerns about uh, uh, supply of petroleum products nationwide and the claims by some media houses that they were trying to scuttle Dangote refinery, that is not so. Dangote refinery is still in the pre-commissioning stage. It has not been lessened yet. We haven't lessened them yet. They are still in pre-commissioning. I think they are about 45% completed, complete, in completion rather. So. We cannot rely heavily on one refinery to feed the nation because the Dankwale is, Dankwale is requesting that we should suspend or stop all importation of petroleum products, especially AGO and Jekero, and direct all marketers to, to the refinery. That is not good for the nation in terms of energy security, and that is not good for markets because of uh, monopoly. So in terms of quality, uh, currently, the AGO quality in terms of sulfur is the lowest and far as uh, West African requirement of 50 ppm. Dangote refinery, as well as some modular refineries, like uh, Walter Smith refinery, Arida refinery, they produce between 650 to 1,200 ppm. So in terms of quality, their quality is much, much inferior to the imported quality. This is the fate of Dangote. Wahala everywhere. The way they are pushing this man, he might say the refinery. He might say the refinery because he said that a lot of people discourage him not to do the refinery. That he should save his money. And there are inner cabas, he get cabas, where no one's made that refinery work. They just don't want the refinery to work. And they steal oil. They are stealing Nigeria oil. They are stealing Nigeria oil. They do not want Dangote refinery to be functional. That is why they are making sure that they talk down on the refinery. But like we said, it is turn by turn. This is what the poor masses have been crying and shouting. But whenever we talk, people like Dangote that is enjoying the government of Nigeria and everything they are giving him free of charge, they will not speak. If it is not now that they are giving you this problem or these issues, we will still not hear your voice. If it is not now that they are giving you all like... Treating you like this, maltreating you, they are maltreating you. They are maltreating you. They are abusing you. If it is not the way they are abusing you, I don't think we will hear your voice. I don't think you will be saying all these things you are saying now. That is the reason why you need to join the youth of Nigeria. You also have to protest because if you say you're refinery, it is bad. If they frustrate you too much, 
You might not just want to continue again. The way they are frustrating Dangote. Look at how pale he look. Let us look at his. Let us first at, start talking about the way Dangote now look. He look pale. He doesn't look like that healthy looking man. That when you see him and you introduce him as the richest man in Africa, you will see somebody that his skin is shining. He, he doesn't look like that again. When a man will sleep in his house, he will not see sleep. He will only be thinking, this one there is kebab. This one, they don't even want to release this thing for me. This one, they say that my refinery is not working. I hope this business go, it go move. This man packed all his money, borrowed money to build the refinery. But it be like, say, wahala go day. Anyway, uh, Alaji, the only solution now is uh, for you to lead the, the youth. It's the same thing they are complaining. You have to lead them. You that is even an entrepreneur and that is an employer of labor. If they can frustrate you, imagine what ordinary man is facing in Nigeria. Imagine where Ibeto is now. Is you and Ibeto that is supposed to be doing this competition? If he's selling cement, 3,000, you will be selling at maybe 3,000 too. Uh, hey, if you see that your own is 3,000 too, he might reduce it. When there is competition, healthy competition, it will help people to be getting things cheaper. But when it's only you that is selling, a piyaka, you will always be very, very stingy with the way you sell your things. And everywhere will be difficult for people. Alaji, it's your turn. When it is the turn of Nigeria, so they don't call you to come and help them to leave the body. Everybody will have to carry their body. I am not happy the way they are maltreating you because me, I am not bewitched. But my only anger is that when they were dealing with Ibeto Smith, everybody kept quiet until they frustrated this man. I don't know where they push him to. I do not know where they push Ibeto Smith. So that is why I personally don't really like to sympathize with you, Mana. But I just, the only thing we will have to tell you is, it is turn by turn. When other people are taking the pains, nobody come for their rescue. It's Nigeria. Nigeria Limited, it will go around. It will go around. It will go, go around. It will touch everybody. Nigeria is happening to Dangote. Nigeria is happening to the richest man in Africa. Nigeria is happening to the wealthiest man, man we have in the whole of our, in Nigeria, in Africa. So good. Sorry, Mala. Now, so we see him. It is done by turn. Again, one more. I can ask one more. I'll go to the tunnel owner. 